Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and in this video, I'm going to show you how, with a little bit of work, we were able to automate IE from within Edge. And uh, it sounds a little weird, but uh, last Friday on our live support call, um, someone talked about uh, you know IE being dead, and can you connect to IE or Edge? And, and you know, unfortunately, Edge doesn't have that COM object that IE does. However, um, let me let me share my screen here, and I'll, I'll walk you through how we started playing with it. And so. This right now is just Edge. It's straight up Edge the way you'd normally think of it. And this is the IWB2 learner tool that I use a lot for discovering inside IE. And notice it doesn't peek inside Edge at all. Not a surprise because they don't have that COM object. However, um, if you go here and select uh, settings and then go to default browser, you can turn on this allow sites to be loaded with Internet Explorer mode. So change this to allow, and then you'll probably over time, and I've added a couple here, um, you'll, you'll add some domains, but that's basically it. Once you do that, you'll have this little like button up here you can click. So I'm gonna click reload tab in Internet Explorer mode. Now what was really fascinating to me was when I did this, I happened to be in here and go, holy cow, right? Like I can see these elements just like I normally would. Um, I got really excited. And what I did very quickly and, and easily and, and poorly is uh, I was able to borrow this scripts connecting to, I tried the normal w, I, WB get, PWB get, and get IE from uh, Jethro, and there's a couple out there to connect to it, and it wouldn't work. And it didn't surprise me because those were, of course, were looking for Internet Explorer. And this is actually kind of... Um, well, it's Internet Explorer, but within Edge. But the best way to think of it, it really is actually Internet Explorer. What we can do is we can actually automate it. So let's go. Um, so I showed this to Tank, and Tank said, hey, that's you know that's kind of cool, but using the way you did that, every time that DOM gets refreshed, you're going to lose that connection to the page. So he did some really advanced programming, which is it's over my, my pay grade. But um, he did some, built a cool function for us where we can now you know, stick with the IE page um, and automate it uh, without having as many issues. There's still some issues, which I'll, I'll show you, but uh, let's go ahead and look at the function, this edge. I put, um, we've created three functions. Now these first two, these don't have anything to do with IE or, or DOM or COM. Um, all they're doing is they're allowing you to create an, I, uh, an edge browser and store the PID, which is processor ID, uh, of the instance you create. So later, if you want to close it, you can quit it. So, and you can, if you pass that PID to it, it'll close that particular version. Um, this next one here, this edge get IE, this is the really cool one that Tank wrote that will allow you to programmatically, you know, connect to that uh, IE instance inside of edge. Um, and it doesn't always work in the first try. So there's um, right here, there's a, a loop. It'll loop 10 times in here calling itself, um, waiting with a second in between. If it finally fails, it could fail, but but my experience so far is it's been pretty good. Um, and once it connects once, it'll stick with it. So again, we're I'm just happy to have any anything in here. So let me jump over to my examples here. So um, here I'm including Edge. Now because I called uh, it Edge and I put it in my library folder, I don't actually have to use an include, but I'm doing it here just for people who aren't too familiar with that. Um, and we're gonna create an instance. Let's Let's put up a message box. And let's add this return. So we're going to create an instance and we're going to store that PID so we can later close that instance. Uh, and let's go ahead and quit out of Edge. Now remember, right now, this is all Edge. So I'm going to launch this. And it noticed it launched Edge and it's visible to us here. Now, again, this is just straight up Edge, right? When I hit this OK, it's going to close that instance. Why? Because I stored that PID and I pass it here. So it's going to close that. Um, that's just for a handy thing, because again, we're not actually automating Edge, but I figured, hey, why not Why not have those functions in there, right? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close, uh, disable those. Now, this time we're going to create Edge, and then we're going to try to connect to it. But unfortunately, and this is where I'm going to purposely break this, right? So it's going to um, it's going to try to connect to it. Um, see these fails in the tooltips here? Uh, that's because we're not in the... Um, IE mode that I showed you earlier. So if we go to a site where we have that, so if we click here and we turn this on now, and I, I, I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because this is going to connect directly to it. Uh, I can relaunch it. Oh, and now it's still failing. Interesting. And this is where I said, sometimes it will fail. Uh, let's try to reload this page and see if it, 
Oh, there we go. And now, bam, it, it worked just fine, right? So there's 219 links on this page. Now, this next one, let's go to the automator. So the automator.com. Um, and I noticed here we're still in IE mode, right? And here, this next one, we I, what I did on here was I, I used this tool to look at the search bar. And this is the class S, right? So hopefully you're not new to web scraping and I have a lot of videos on that. Uh, so here, look at, we're using the, the document, get elements S, that was that search, right? And we're gonna set the value to the automator. Um, so let's go ahead and hit, let's pull this up, move this out of the way. And we're gonna hit the okay button and this should fill with the automator. And so we just programmatically set that element, right? Which to me is just, it's awesome because suddenly now, hey, I can still automate. Um, granted it is IE, it's not edge, even though it's it looks like edge, but we're we're still in a sub window. Um, and then this very next line, we're gonna automate, we're gonna automate navigating to another page. So I'm gonna hit okay here and lo and behold, it navigated to the next page for me, right? So this gives us the functionality that we're used to, the simplicity that we're used to instead of using Chrome. Now, granted, again, we can't automate like YouTube, right? Because YouTube, if, if we just try to go to YouTube, it won't allow us to load this in IE mode. See how that's grayed out? So we can't, we just can't do it. It's unfortunate, however, Tank is kind of hopeful that he can build a plugin that will allow us to connect to the DOM and then be able to do this stuff. But for now, I think this is a great thing to be able to do this. And, uh, you know, it gives us some, a little life back. Now, also, I'm going to make a separate video on how to do this in Windows 11 because it was a little more complicated and I'm doing it in a virtual machine and I'll walk through all the difficulties I had there. Uh, but this same exact script will work in that. It's just configuring it, getting it, you know, if you're running Windows 11 straight away, it should be fine. But if you're doing a virtual box, sandbox, then I want to point out some things, the little headaches I had to make sure that you can get past those. So hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video. It really helps. And thanks again to Tank for doing all that work for me. Cheers.